Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Just Survive. And we got some great news. We have got some excellent news for any of uh, you know you guys that love this game, and any of you guys and girls that were interested in purchasing this game. Um, well, hold on to your seats. Well, it's it's sort of official. I say sort of because it's not actually 100% official yet because they're still in discussions. But the game is being saved. Yes, indeed. So yesterday there was a stream. Diz, my good old friend Diz, um, uh, sent me a message yesterday morning basically showing me a uh, video um, based of the latest stream from the I'm not sure if they are part of Daybreak because there's two two uh, companies now you've got this um, I think it's like Chinese company and Daybreak they're sort of like the Chinese company as far as I can tell are taking over the battle royale kind of thing um, but because I think they've actually sat back and listened to the community in the just survive side of it um, and basically said right okay we're going to uh we're going to work on it we're going we're going to do something for you guys and that is save the game they are actually saving the game this is a handy little truck to have yeah and i've also got a battery on me thank you very much so uh so you can imagine what my uh what my reactions were like because i've been i, I you know i fell in love with this game when it first came out in 2015 um, I've met a hell of a lot of decent people and still meeting decent people through online gaming uh, the community in, in regards to H1Z1 uh, has always been there uh, <laughs> me, Diz, Flynn and many more um, always seem to come back to this game especially after a wipe so we could make a silly ass looking base and things like that um, yeah we, we you know we, we, there was just something about it and i don't think it's you know I, I you know i hope the developers don't take this the wrong way but i don't think it was uh, much to do with the game it was it was all about the community yeah you know i mean we all made a lot of friends and uh, and well i suppose you could say it was through this game because if it wasn't through this game I would not have met up with the guys and the girls that I have um, and still friends today so uh, a big thank you to Daybreak for that now you will notice that there are still a lot of signs around the map basically um, so, well basically saying fuck you Daybreak and all that so I do apologize for the language if there's any youngsters listening in um, but yeah they've uh, basically said uh, fuck you Daybreak I've also put a sign up which I'm taking down yeah we're gonna spend 10-15 minutes or something like that taking the sign down that I put up a few days ago yeah there was a lot of work involved but um, after the news that we've just received I, I'm, I am more than willing to sort of like I don't know eat sort of like a bit of a humble pie and say I was wrong yeah I was wrong um, and there's gonna be a lot of people out there going to be saying the same same sort of thing we haven't got lights in this truck have we so i do apologize it's going to be night time fairly soon but it's almost there um so yeah we're going to take the sign down and hopefully um you know get on and do make a base you know and play the game the way uh, the way it should be played yeah you know i mean um it's all about like because we play on pve servers me and the guys and the girls uh well, <laughs> speaking of which um our dear dear friend uh, skittles uh she basically deleted the game from her you know from her from, from steam um and because of the the news that came came across she downloaded it again and she so she's back on it um and i'm, I'm on about the news about it going down on the 24th but as now um you know we've we've had it from sort of like the horse's mouth if you like uh basically saying that it's not going down so yeah oh man it's it, it, yeah you well like i said you can imagine my feelings because i followed this game 
from day one I've recorded a shared ton of videos um, you know showing off certain certain things uh, you know where the wrenches are where the vehicles are you know that sort of thing uh, certain uh, ways of building bases and, and stuff like that you know what I mean so if any of you guys are interested in you know checking them out um, yeah go, yeah go ahead and if you like what you see if you'd be so kind to leave a like subscribe if you uh, if you're new to the channel and you want to see a lot more you know in regards to this game and any of uh, the other games uh, in my library if you like um, please subscribe and any comment you would like to leave please feel free uh, but yeah <laughs> I can imagine that there's a lot of people that are feeling just the same way that I am like we were a bit I'm a bit still a bit skeptical don't get me wrong I am still very <laughs> very skeptical you know is, is it actually gonna happen is it actually gonna happen but you know, for for somebody to say exactly what uh, what's his name, Je uh, Jess Hall or something like that, I think his name is, for for a guy in his standing to announce something like that, it's got to be true because it's more than perhaps his job's worth, if you if you like, and his career is worth to make any sort of like false announcements. So yep, happy days, boys and girls, happy days. So we're going to go back to the base here now. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm, I've got a bit of a sore throat coming. So you're going to have to uh, pardon me, like. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go back to the base. <coughs> and we're going to rip that wall down. Um, I've got a little sh um, like a little building just behind it. Uh, if, if you've actually followed any of my videos over the last couple of weeks, uh, you, you'll, see, you'll see what I mean. So, uh, so if you want to bear with me, I'm going to get back to my base, which is just up here. I'm going to get myself settled in, and I shall be back. Well, there it is, and it's sort of like former glory. Um, don't buy Daybreak Games. Now, I'm going to go back on that, um, and, you know, everybody is sort of like reacted in sort of like the heat of the moment because... Well, I say the heat at the moment. You know, there's been a lot of a lot of crap going around over the last few years, especially in regards to this game. You know, we were we were offered well, we were going to be offered this, we were going to be offered that, and nothing came came into force, if you like. So you know, you can understand why we have gone out and and spent our time doing this sort of stuff. You know, a lot of people might think it's petty. But, you know, it's it was just our way because... Uh, how, can I, how can I explain it? Well, it's like if you leave a message for somebody and you would expect a reply. But no matter how many times people have put things up on Reddit. Oh, uh, is this happening? Uh, when's that happening? That sort of thing. And then not getting any response from uh, the developers. Then... You know you're going to start feeling a bit crappy and uh you know th you know thinking wrong things if you like so uh but anyway enough of that old twaddle uh we're going to go into this bin here and i think we may have a hammer look at all the torches i've made here uh hammer 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 there we go we'll make a couple of these well we'll take a couple of these i should say and we're going to go and break that wall down so are you ready here we go uh we've got one in our hands now I'm hoping that uh, they are true to their word because taking this bloody wall down after the amount of time it took us to put it up. Yeah, okay, right, so here we go. Ready? Do, 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 do. So we're just going to run along here. We're going to take that ladder down. Timber! <laughs> That's pretty sweet, that, isn't it? <laughs> so let's break that down. That one. And as we move on, the, t the rest of it, all at the top, should come down as well. <clears throat> See it slowly disappearing there, look. Now this should help towards the lag, because torches in this game have been... Oh, it's been sort of like the main problem in regards to lag 
on any of the uh, H1Z1 servers. Um, so yeah, and I had about what? What do I have up there? About 75 torches. So yeah, you can you can imagine the amount of lag. Now I did record a video yesterday uh, announcing exactly what I've just announced to you guys, but I played it back and it was as laggy as sin so this is why i'm recording one now rather than there you go say goodbye to the wall goodbye <laughs> so there we go you know all that time it took me to put it up and it took me no time at all to take it down what a shit huh? what a shit <laughs> but anyway is what i plan probably plan on doing it i'm not I, I, well i'm hoping is what they're going to do is they say it's in it's going to become sort of like in maintenance they're going to put it in like a, i don't know in this locker if you like and they're calling it maintenance so i, so I think is what they mean by that is it, it, it's going to allow them time to listen to the community uh, talk to daybreak themselves and sort of like come up with the right kind of plan yeah you know i mean um because again if you were to go back when john smedley and that first first announced this guy you know uh, well first brought this game out he had so many so many um ideas for this game and they sort of really never took effect um a few of them did you know but uh, hmm, over the last i think for the first 12 months six to 12 months the game was absolutely cracking it was great because you could build in a you like you could build anywhere you wanted you know what i mean anywhere you wanted and that was that's that was what what made it for us guys anyway uh the community that i'm a part of uh you know you could go into cranberry or pleasant valley or anywhere like that and you could put a base down okay you may have blocked off doors you may have blocked off certain you know resource points uh, you know but but that is part and parcel of survival i'm afraid i don't care what anybody says if if let, let's just say if something like this did happen in real life can't see it doing so but let's just say if it did if you let's say you wanted i don't know uh, some car batteries or something like that and the only place to get them would be in a garage over here at um, Bubba's if you like um, you're going to go over to that that, uh, that garage if you like and block the doors off so nobody else can get in so they can't get batteries and things like that and eventually is what you'll probably think to yourself right well I've got 40 or 50 batteries in my lockers now what i'm going to do is i'm going to trade those batteries with other players so i'll say right well uh, you know i'll give you a battery if you give me a hundred scrap metal or i'll give you a battery if you give me some food you know what i mean you're trading in the game so that, that, that that's my kind of view and that that's the way the game i think should have that's the way it should have gone but it never did um and there's a hundred and one other things that they could do you know as far as like as the vehicles are concerned there's got to be a way where they could have maybe but me and me and Diz were talking about it yesterday <coughs> well basically if they had this, a similar kind of system that other games have got like miscreated and what have you um or even this new game that i'm playing miss survival uh you have to go around you look gotta look for wheels you gotta look for tires you gotta look for belts you gotta look for engines you gotta look for spark plugs you gotta look for oil you know and and, and then you have to have, like a battery spark plugs uh other bits and pieces a starter motor a gearbox you know all that sort of thing if they had a, a system like that where they made it super hard to get hold of a vehicle then all the hoarding that was a, a major a major part of this game would have stopped because people just would not be bothered about vehicles um you know they, they, they just wouldn't want to spend the time uh gathering all that stuff but eventually you're going around your looting and you, you would eventually get all those parts for a vehicle without actually sort of like 
knowing it, if you like. Um, and the base building. Let's go on to the base building. The way that they had it back in the early days, they changed it once or twice. They took the foundations away from, you know, where you, where, where you cannot place anything within a certain radius of a POI. Big mistake. Big, 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 big mistake. Because as I said, if it happens in real life, you would want to uh, think that you could build absolutely anywhere you wanted to. You could uh, block off doors. You could block, uh, you know, take a building over if you wanted to. Um, regardless on what anybody else said, it may, you know, kick off and argue, arguments might happen. But that's a part of the game, I'm afraid. You know what I mean? So bring back that sort of building system where you can build anywhere. Um, these foundations that they've got now I, I, I would like to see I don't know well you know when when I used to play the game um, re, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for religiously I would have a base here like maybe one or two foundations here and then I might have another base over at um, Cranberry then I might have another base over at Rancho, and then I might have another base over at Pleasant Valley. It's just areas where there's decent amount, decent amount of loot, and you know that you can pull a ve if you had a vehicle, you could drive to each and every one of those bases, park your car up, and um, you you know that that car would be safe. So you go off around and do your looting and uh, and what have you load up your vehicle go back to base number one offload it and and the same sort of thing would happen if you were over at rancho go and loot that and leave the stuff there you know what i mean so you've always got a base to go to but they took all that away from us they gave us this system where it's basically you you have four foundations and they have to be together okay you can make a bloody big ass base but to be fair all you need is this what i've got here at the moment look this is all you need i've got my i've got my vegetation growing i've got my bee boxes growing uh well, collecting uh, honey and what have you i've got a barbecue i've got two uh, boxes here of my stuff i've got a furnace and a workbench that's all i bloody well need uh, you know if i wanted to decorate the place later on I could I could put a roof on this get rid of the, the 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 corn in the wheat because you know that would have grown enough uh, for me whereas I could do without growing any more so I could put a roof on this and that's it happy days so yeah so hopefully they will bring back the building system whereas you could build anywhere you want you know give us some freedom make it a little bit harder to gather the resources if you like because it is way too easy at the moment you know what i mean this wall one wood one piece of wood and each tree gives you 10 logs with the double bit axe so yeah you can imagine you, like you could put a whole wall a two high wall around this base within an hour or so you know i mean it, it's it, it, it got silly but that was because they were closing the game down but now they're not there's no need to have it so easy so uh so yeah like i said hopefully they get round to uh, addressing all these things that i've made maybe mentioned now and uh turn it into the game that john smedley once thought it was going to be um so yeah um so what are we going to be doing around here at the moment probably nothing because is what i'm hoping is let's say on the 24th they decide that well they're not they're not taking the servers down i'm hoping they're going to wipe them so everybody can start again start with a fresh thought in their head thinking that okay daybreak is not as bad as we once thought or the people that work for daybreak are not as bad as we once thought but i must get one thing clear now now this guy uh this jess J jace hall jess hall or whatever his name is he did he did say that i think it was him it might have been the other guy i can't remember now it was a couple of streams ago 
and you know if you're out putting things up on reddit can i do this can i do that can i do this and can i do that their hands were tied to a certain extent because they were told by daybreak say them you know the, the big bosses of daybreak they were told that they can only let certain information out to the public so if you're asking them this question and daybreak has already told them no you cannot answer that question then their hands are tied so um so you can imagine but but the least that they could have done was would have been to come onto reddit and said look guys i can't answer that question at the moment because you know daybreak doesn't want to release that kind of information that would have been perfect you know that would have been spawn oh here we go we got a guy hello there hello there how's it going yeah not too bad my mate do you want a truck there's two trucks over there buddy if you want one no, oh, that's okay. Uh, I was just looking for a base that used to be around here, but it's no longer there. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've just taken my wall and everything down. Yeah. Uh, uh, the other guy was uh, his name was DJ or something. He was just right off the road down there. All right. Well, just over there, over in that direction, behind Bubba's, uh, you know, the uh, the apartments, there is a base yeah. there, or there was. I'm pretty sure it's still there. Yeah, I'll take a look around, thanks. So what what do you think of the news about the game being saved then, but What? Uh, I, I haven't heard anything about that. Oh, right. Oh, well, if you go on to, I think, their latest uh, stream, yeah, which was yesterday, or was it last uh, the night before last, they basically said that they're saving Just Survive. Uh, the servers will not be going down on the 24th of October. They're going to stay open. Ah, so uh, that's uh, and that's a developer or somebody else? No, that's a, one of the developers, Jess Hall. That's uh, he's like one of the the main guys now. Um, uh, well, I'm I'm just recording a video, uh, and I'm going to leave a link at the bottom of the video of their la their uh, sort of last stream. So yeah, if you want to uh, check my videos out, my uh, 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 YouTube name is uh, Ziggy G, um, and yeah, I'll put it on there. Or just check out um, uh, Twitch and go to H1Z1. Okay, I'll t I'll take a look. Thanks for the information. Yeah, no no problem, mate. I was quite uh, really quite happy because I've had this game from day one. You know what I mean, and met a lot of decent people. And spent a lot of hours in here building stupid bases. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've been playing uh, w when this game first came out about a month after it came out, and I stopped a couple times for maybe a few months. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so there's a big ass group uh, uh, that we've sort of like. Well, you know, it's like a community of our own. There was a hell of a lot of people that played it and then they sort of like drifted away but then they came back again so the, the you know the the community system has always been there it's just a case of sitting back waiting for the developers to sort of like bring some decent content there you know but they never did yep uh they went to the uh what the battle royale system the king of the hill that's right well this this new uh, when just survive um gets it sort of like new new uh, new release of life um i think it's going to be a part of battle royale but it's going to be just survive if you see what i mean so i think it's still going to be the same game but it's going to be a part of battle royale as far as i can work it out you'll have to watch the stream and see and see what you think but uh but yeah it's it we'll still be able to play pve servers i would think well they did they notify anything on their website about this or it's just on the stream well I, w I would imagine it's on their website as well i've not checked on there um the, like i said i was in bed yesterday morning and uh one of my friends uh messaged me and says oh you know uh, you know uh, just survive is is staying alive so i got up and checked uh checked the video out and yeah i was i was really happy about it yeah i guess the zombie has nine lives yeah 
Yeah. Well, anyway, my mate, I'm going to have to uh, leave you there because I'm going to end this video now. Um, but it was okay. nice, uh, nice meeting up with you. And as I say, me, my friend Diz, uh, Flynn, Jen, and there's a load more um, that play on it. I think my other friend, uh, Lo, uh, plays on here too. Yeah, uh, you sound a bit uh, either English or, or you're from Oz. Yeah, yeah, I'm from the UK, yeah. Okay. Because I used to play on unearthly uh, Oz server. All oh, right. Okay. Well, I guess there's a couple of my friends actually that come from Australia. Diz and Skittles. Uh, you probably you 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 know you will probably bump into them on here. Okay. Well, thanks again. I don't want to hold you up. All right, my friend. Nice to meet you. You take care of yourself. Take care. Bye bye. But this is what I mean, you see, guys, you know, I mean, uh, you know, people just coming up to your base and just just wanting to spend just a couple of minutes just talking, you know, passing on information like I've just done there, passing on the fact that the servers are not going down. The game is being, is being saved. Now he's going to go off and he's probably going to tell X, Y and Z amount of people exactly the same, which is good. You're spreading the news. You know what I mean? That's that's what communities are all are all like. So, uh, but like I said, it's it's there. It's always been there. And you know, even if this game did go down um, in the future, the community is still there, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, but anyway, guys, I'm gonna have to love you and leave you there for now. If you like what you've heard and seen today, if you'd be so kind to leave us a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel and want to see more and any comment please feel free and leave one down below so until the next episode then ladies gents boys and girls love to you all catch you next time bye bye for now bye bye